Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to use the WP Optimize for database optimization and image optimization. So I have already written an article on this which details everything that we are going to cover in this video. The things that we are going to cover in this video are how to install the WP Optimize plugin, how to do the database optimization cleanup, how to enable the image optimization and also scheduling the cleanup for WP Optimize. So without further ado, let's get started. I already have my demo.restobin website open. In order to install, head over to plugins and click on add new. Search for WP Optimize. Probably the first result will be the one. Just click on install now and then activate. So once the plugin is activated, you will see the new menu which has been added. So click on that menu and you would be landed on this first home screen. So in this home screen, you will see all the optimization for database that are available. So these are all database tables that are already there. You can just go select this checkbox and run optimization for all the selected checkboxes. If you want to run an individual database cleanup, then you can run optimization by hitting this command button and then it will run only for that particular value that we have ran the optimization for. The next tab in this database is tables. So here you can see there are a lot of pre-built tables under our uh, database. You would be also able to see database that got created due to WP Optimize plugin that we installed now and the total size of database. So this table will show what all records that are there in our MySQL database and what is the size they have been using up in our database. So here you can see I used almost 1.2 MB of my database uh, because of all this settings and uh, WP options has occupied the most which is 1 MB. So this database tab actually helps in manually cleaning up your database whenever you want. We would be also covering how to automate this by scheduling option. Moving on to next to the image optimization part. So here you can navigate, you can see this image tab. So in this you have the option to enable the image optimization. So just enable this checkbox so that uh, automatically whenever the new images are added that get optimized. I personally prefer to prioritize the retention of data which help in maintaining image quality as well as retaining the maximum data by compressing file size by a very small portion compared to other options. So just in case if you want maximum compression you can just uh, hit on the compression and uh, scroll this bar to maximum compression so that your image is compressed to the maximum. You also have an option to select which compression service you want to use whether you want to use resmush it or nitro smush. I personally been using resmush it for a long time. I have used resmush it plugin and this plugin works great but since the WP Optimize has added this feature so I deleted my native plugin and uh, enable the settings here itself. You can also keep the back of original images just in case if you want to revert back to the original images. And this bottom section will show what all uh, uncompressed images are currently there. So you can just select and uh, hit on smash. Based on the number of images and files you can just compress. So this section also helps in bulk image compression. Next is settings. So under settings we can uh, set up like how we want our database to be cleaned up and uh, also how much data should we retain in our database before cleanup. So let's say if I select this uh, option here to keep last two weeks data which means my last two weeks data would be there in my database and any data which is beyond last week will be deleted by cleanup option either it's be a manual cleanup or a scheduling cleanup. Next we can enable this schedule cleanup option. So there are certain options on how the schedule should be, whether it should be weekly, daily, fortnightly or monthly. I personally prefer the default option which is weekly and you can also select the checkbox whichever you want. So optimize the database tables and I also want to remove the expired uh, transient options. So other settings which are there in this uh, WP Optimize are enabling the login destination which is nothing but uh, creating the log files based on the when the optimization has ran and uh, enabling or disabling the comments on the individual post as well as enabling or disabling the trackbacks. 
so if I disable the track backs here so track backs have been now disabled on all the current and previous published post and enable the comments so once you made all these changes just hit on the save settings option and if you scroll at the top you would be able to see just refresh this once and go to settings and here you will be able to see schedule cleaning enabled the next schedule is dated July 20th which is exactly seven days from now so this scheduling will automatically clean all the database the garbage data which has been in our database and not being used so that's all in this video I hope you liked it let me know if you guys have any questions or comments cheers guys have a great day Thank you.